What are your favorite silver coins? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. As you can see, I am presenting you two of my, uh, my favorite coins, my favorite rounds. Um, right here to my right, I have one of not only my favorites, but a lot of my uh, collectors who I deal with. <clears throat> I'm always selling this coin uh, regularly. Um, I'm, I'm always, I always have them on hand. But anyways, without further ado, let us begin. So here you go. Don't tread on me and on the back. The epic pick It's the Boston Tea Party. Uh, anybody who's familiar with history, they know this was a, a pivotal moment um, in the creation of the United States of America. Now, these are made by the Money Metals Exchange, and these are commissioned um, by them. These are beautiful uh, silver rounds, don't tread on me coins, as I said, or rounds, not only to provide uh, a tool for citizens to protect against the collapse of the dollar's purchasing power, but to help reinvigorate the very symbols of liberty upon which this nation was founded. Um, these symbols are not to be uh, denigrated, demonized, um, as the highest levels of our political class are now trying to do. Instead, they must be renewed and passed on to new generations who want the Founding Fathers' principles reasserted in modern-day America. I certainly do. These silver, don't tread on me, uh, Tea Party coins are a must-have for any collector's portfolio. They are stylish, symbolic, and immersed in American history. The rounds tell a story, not just about how America came to be the great independent nation that it now is, but what sort of characteristics um, Americans have. And right now you can get these as low as uh, 35 to $36 with free shipping. Um, it's a great deal. As of recently, I've been seeing some people already selling them for over $40. To an extent, I could say that's justified. Um, but yes, just love those coins. <clears throat> Certainly I would put them, I have a lot of, a lot of silver, okay? But these two coins that you see in front of you, I want to say I would put them for sure in my top five. And that's just, that's just me personally. Anyways, real quick before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, my loyal subscriber, Sarge272721. And real quick, go check out his YouTube. He has a YouTube also. Very entertaining. Um, I enjoy his episodes. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is Sarge272721. Gold is by far more plentiful above ground than silver. Most of the above ground supplies of AG are held by or destined for China. Why do you think the GSR is so high? Why do you think both China and India have upped their AG purchases? That's the reason we are starting to feel the squeeze. And by squeeze, I mean the Cramex and the LBMA being drained. Today, they probably dropped eight to 9,000 contracts to bring AG down. And it closed 16 cents up, just like the addict with heroin. Up the dose. And it stops being effective. We're there. China's solar industry up their forecast for 2024. It doubled the previously expected 300 million ounces. So 600 million ounces just for solar. Silver will go insane. If you own some, you will be part of the ones who can afford a car. So you're a car guy. Sweet. When it implodes, mine will be a 992 GTS for a handful of silver coins. Got silver? Cheers. So there you have it. Sarge272771. Always love uh, his comments <clears throat> and that statement alone. I mean, I agree with it. I do think something's going to go insane with silver. And this little batch right here that you see in front of you could be worth a hell of a lot more money in the near future. And I mean a hell of a lot more money. Something, something unprecedented, an unprecedented amount, um, something that, that would be unbelievable. That's all I have to say. Um, look at how much silver is in a nuclear plant. And then look at all these ongoing wars, the missiles being used, they have silver in them. The anticipated consumption in 2024 is 1.4 billion ounces. This is according to the Silver Institute. There was a 400 million ounce deficit of silver in 2023. That's the public number. China is not expecting silver. Uh, I'm sorry, China is not exporting silver, they're importing. India is importing, Russia is importing. In fact, they have a large hoard of silver already but there is a limited supply, so eventually the deficits will be met with higher prices. 
Um, America's recent economic performance is particularly the result of the country's unsustainable borrowing. Ignore the manipulated numbers. The U.S. economy is not growing, but inflation has the majority thinking that it is. Factor in inflation. We're going backwards. Also, with record immigration, legal and illegal, using their models, sure, we're growing, quote unquote, growing, but look at it on a per individual basis, per capita basis, looking at the average America, they've actually never been more worse off. And I mean, look at, look at family members, look at friends, look around. In truth, America has been and still is putting the global economy at risk. The Federal Reserve has tried to lift interest rates to stop inflation, but at the same time, our government is still spending like an irresponsible 19-year-old with a fake ID. One trillion dollars of debt every hundred days. That's why inflation isn't going away. It's not Americans' fault. It's not consumers' fault, but the American government and their unprecedented spending. It's unsustainable. I mean, it's cold fact. It took America hundreds of years to get into its first trillion dollars of debt. Eventually, it'll be every month that we add a trillion to our debt. In real time, the more debt we take, the more we destroy our currency. <clears throat> and this isn't an opinion, it's a fact. Either we stop taking on debt and crash the economy or keep printing money and stay in hyperinflation. Our leaders will literally bankrupt our nation just to buy more votes. It's terrible and it's obvious. Over the last decades, American politicians have used their leverage to buy votes, and in turn, they have destroyed economies all over the globe. But now our own very nation is at risk. Um, we're already living through record inflation all while the world is falling into war. The world has never been more unhinged, more unstable in recent years. The East, they clearly don't take our leaders seriously. They don't fear our leaders. They're proving that every single day and uh, they're proving they're going to do whatever they want. These are truly troubling times. These last financial crises, they never fixed the problem. They just printed more money and made, I mean, it's a massive mess. And we're living through it. But that's why I have silver. And I'm going to continue to stack on silver every week, every month, every year. You know, I'm not going to stop. So yes, look at this piece on Circulated. Another one of my favorites. I went over it briefly yesterday, but I want, I'm gonna go into more detail on this. Okay, so even though the United States had no real need for large dollar coins at the start of the 1970s, uh, the gaming industry developed an acute need to find a replacement for the silver dollars it used to feed tens of thousands of slot machines. So when I say gaming industry, I mean the gambling industry. Uh, this need and the recent passing um, of the beloved war hero turned president, Dwight D. Eisenhower, presented Congress with an opportunity to cater to the needs um, of the industry. While hundreds of millions of Eisenhower dollars were struck with many millions entering uh, circulation, the coin was more of a novelty item than a useful coin uh, for the purpose of commerce. Um, 1971 Eisenhower dollars have a wide range of prices from uh, $10 for a beat up circulated example uh, to potentially $10,000 or more for virtually flawless examples. Um, and the superb gem grade of, of course, MS-67, you know, so if you can find one of these like just in pristine, pristine condition. I mean, yeah, 10 grand or more. This condition that you're looking at right here currently, as I said, it is uncirculated, uh, but of course not perfect. These right here can easily sell for 15 to 20 bucks. Easy. And a very good friend of mine, I remember, I sold it to him some time ago, and he paid me in cash, and one of the bills he gave me was a $2 bill. I still have it. And I'll never forget that, and that's the beauty of, uh, of the silver game. When you're selling these items to people, they always tend to pay you in cash. Very rarely do I take cash app transactions, Apple Pay transactions. It's always cash, and who doesn't like cash? Even though it's fake printed fiat, um, still, it's cooler to see it physically than, than digitally. And, uh, I mean, look. Look at the asset in front of you. I can grab it. I can hold it. It's going to be here when I wake up tomorrow unless somebody robs me. God forbid they don't. But no, this is this is it. This is physical. This is physical. This is asset. This is real. Uh, but folks, as always, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Silver Dad Knows. I'm so happy and delighted that you got to see uh, two of my, my favorite coins. And yes, folks, as always, God bless you. God bless your households. 
And as long as I can say it, I am always going to say it. God bless America.